Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we start a series on easy beginner modules, and none better than the one called Startup to kick it off. Startup by Music Thing Modular comes with all of the SND circuitry pre-soldered. You only need to solder on the power header, the jacks, two buttons, one pot, and an LED. It's a great first module to build, since it's easy, inexpensive, and super useful, giving you a three-channel stereo mixer with varying input levels, two high-quality headphone outputs with a single volume control, and a cool clock generator and divider with tap tempo and a number of interesting divisions and multiplication modes. In the baggie, you get the power cable, knurlies for mounting the module, all of the panel components, a high-quality aluminum panel, and the pre-soldered SMD circuit board. Building it as a flash took me about 20 minutes. Basically, you skip all of the circuit assembly and just put together the power header and the panel components. I broke one leg off of one of my jacks by mistake and had to fix it with the resistor leg. Now snap all of the panel components on, minding the orientation for the LED and the buttons. Place the panel, tighten the nuts, and turn it all around to solder. A good idea I didn't use was to use masking tape to hold the LED flush to the panel. Mine is an Audi. Once everything is soldered on, fasten the knob, check the power header for shorts, and plug it in to test. There's no calibration required. Now let's check it out in action. I've set up a patch here where I have two voices that are being triggered by the two different clock outputs here. So one is the tap output and the other is the divide multiply output. They're going into the first mixer channel here, one on the left side, the other on the right side. So we're going to hear these voices left and right. I also sent them to a separate mixer that goes into my spring reverb and that's channel two over here. So we're getting the mono spring reverb of the two voices in channel two. And channel three, which is the one that has a stereo input, I used a stereo cable and connected it to my iPad running the Moog Model D app. So let's go ahead and listen to the patch. Now I'm going to play around a little bit with the different divisions. So let's change the tempo. So right now they're together. If I press it, if I press the divide button again, now we're getting a multiplication now. It's acting as a clock multiplier. And of course, we're listening through the headphones output number one. Leaves one free so that I could actually be monitoring through this other output while number one is going to the PA. Let's try a different uh, division of the clock. It's another multiplication, actually. Now, let's, to divide it, you just hold the button instead of just pushing it. Divide it more. Divide it more. Now it's every two hits. Here's every four hits. Two, three, four. If I hold the tap button, it changes the mode. So that gives you different, different kinds of division and multiplication. That's cool, that's a three over two. Now they're together again. Three over two again, but inverted, right? So this is 
is six now. It's a uh, on this mode. It's more triplety. But you also get some phased kind of relationships, which are interesting. So let's go back to dividing. Let's make it a little faster. get sort of a phase so the relationship is changing over time polyrhythmically let's change the, uh, the relationship between the two clocks again that's a cool one another kind of phase make it faster volume controls for the channels it wouldn't really fit on such a small module so you do have to use volume controls on each voice and that's that's pretty easy here because I have the volume controls for each of my VCAs the iPad has its own volume control and the mixer that's sending to the reverb also has its own volume control straight divisions. Let's go to the other mode again that has the phases and the triplety stuff. So nice. This is a really cool first module to have because it lets you integrate other stuff that you may have to modules that you may acquire over time. It gives you a tap tempo with a clock output and a division multiplication output with two separate modes. It gives you lots of interesting rhythmic relationships between these two outputs here. The three channel stereo mixer with varying levels for each input. There's even the stereo input right here where I'm plugging in my mini Moog iPad app. Volume control for the outputs, two separate outputs that are headphone compatible but can also be used as line outputs. The only thing is if you want it stereo, you do need a cable that is a stereo 3.5 millimeter cable and at the other end is two quarter inch plugs. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit like, subscribe, join my Patreon, help the channel out. If you like the startup, it's available through Thunk. See you soon and stay noisy.